Wiggity, 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 wiggity. What's up, Raptor Nation? All the PlayStation Raptor Nation subs uh, recently have joined my channel. Thank you very much. Appreciate all the support. Today's topic, we're going to be uh, going through the shoulds and should nots of what I think should and should not be in a Call of Duty or should be modified to make the game pe gameplay more realistic. So we're going to start off with what I would think uh, I think should be either put back into the game or should be in the game period, which we we'll start off with the uh, grenades because, I mean, we go back to the first Call of Duty and you used to be able to carry three grenades. And uh, <clears throat> now you only carry one. I mean, I understand why they took it out because it would just it's already like a grenade fest sometimes. And uh, it kind of sucks, but in, in in real life, real war, real anything, you, any soldier has is going to have more than than one grenade. Two, we're going to go on to talk about the unlimited sprint. Why would you take that out of Modern Warfare Three? Why would you take it out of any Black Ops, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, whatever, whatever we're talking about, any series, because. In the game, it takes like maybe 30, 40 games to sprint 20 or 30 miles, whatever the requirement is, to get the unlimited sprint. And not only to mention that any troop is trained to run 5 to 10 miles straight without stopping. So do us a favor and stick that back in the game because that was one of my favorite perks too. And you guys took it out. What sucks ass? Number three, second chance. Guys, I've been hearing it get criticized a lot. It's it, if someone gets shot in real life, you, and let like I can't express more unless it's a headshot, unless it's a one shot, one kill shot, a death shot. You are going to have a second chance to either in real life, I would say, go to the hospital, or you're going to have a second chance to get back up and, and, and have your life again. Number four, we're going to go to and talk about the whole last stand deal. Last stand, you get shot, just like second chance. If it's a death shot, it, it, if it's a critical wound shot, you don't die right away. So therefore, you, you may have more than what you have in a video game. They give you like 5 to 10 seconds. So, I mean, realistically, last chance is realistic. The thing I don't like about last chance is... When they drop to the floor, it seems like your first 20 bullets that you shoot into them don't do nothing. So, that's a should and it should not, you know. So, I mean, I don't know where to put that. It's just in between. Number five, what I think should be put back into the games is bigger maps. We need to start making bigger maps because most of these maps require no skill and... Uh, all they require is you to run around with steady aim and shoot your gun without even aiming down the sight. And I've probably done it a little bit in this map. I mean, but when I play bigger maps, I have a distance. I go to my long range weapon, the MK14. And it's a one, uh, that's a one shot weapon. So you actually need to know how to shoot. On to the should nots. I'm going to have to speed this up because it's, it's almost over. Quick scoping. Quick scoping is a bunch of shit and should be took out the game. People that cry about second chance, last stand, unlimited sprint, grenades, and then they don't cry about quick scoping. There's no one in this world that could quick scope a 50 caliber Beretta. No one in this world that could do a 720 off a building and quick scope somebody with a 50 cal that probably weighs in real life between 30 and 50 pounds. Or it's heavy, and and the recoil on that in real life here, it's it's ridiculous. To uh, long range shotties, come on, we need to end this stupid ass uh, shotgun where everybody now is just running around with the shotguns and shooting you from like uh, 80, 90 feet away in the back. And another thing, Stalker Pro, you should not need to have Stalker Pro to move faster left to right while aiming down the sight because in real life you can move just as fast. Aiming down the sight left to right as you would not aiming down the sight left to right. So please get that fixed. Number four is the ranking system. 
bring the ranking system in Black Ops through every Call of Duty is better because it's fake. How Modern Warfare does it, the, basically whoever plays the most and stays in their mom's basement has the highest ranking. So let's get this whole ranking system better. And this pretty much sums it up for this video. I wish it could have been longer to talk about more. But thank you for watching this video from PS Raptor Nation. HD Gaming Show, baby. It's your boy, Jay Brandon. Roar!